When you use Jira Service Management, you'll run into request types and issue types. And they can seem like the same thing, but they are very different. And it's really important for us to understand what these differences are. So let's jump in and learn about the differences between issue types and request types. Now there is something important we have to understand about issue and request types before we jump into Jira. Depending on the kind of project we're using, these things will be slightly different. For example, if we have a team managed project, there basically is no issue type. Now this seems counterintuitive and odd if you're familiar with issue types. However, within a team managed project, there are just request types. These are unique to that project and aren't shared between projects. So if you have three projects that are team managed, they can all have similar or different or identical request types, but they're all separate. They don't share any settings or anything else. Now, if you are in a company managed project, you will have request types within the project that all link to a single issue type. You will have multiple different issue types, however. For example, you might have an issue type called incident. And here an issue type represents a broader category of things. It's more like the type of work rather than specifically what the customer needs. These issue types can be shared between company managed projects. This allows you to more easily manage settings at scale. For example, you may have different service management projects that support different regions in the world. They can all benefit from having the same setup for issue types. However, they all might have problems and incidents and other things. But within each of those specific projects, you may have different request types that are displayed to the customer. Now, regardless of the type of project, the request type is what the customer will interact with. It is what they're going to see when they go to the portal and add information. It's where they put things into fields, and it's what the agents can see on the back end to interact with. So now that we understand that slight difference between company and team managed projects, we're going to jump into Jira and see what they look like. Here we are in a company managed project in a Jira premium cloud instance. To see the issue types and request types, all I'm going to do is click on project settings. And then on the left, open up request management. The first option I have is request types. And this is everything that will show up in the portal. These are the types of requests my customers have. They might need general help from IT, or maybe they need help with their account or changing a Wi-Fi password or whatever else it could be. Now I can instantly see the issue type that each of these single request types is connected to. Account help, for example, has an underlying issue type of general request. And this means it will share similar settings. It will share things like workflows and fields and other information with any other request type that uses that particular issue type. In this example, I also have emailed request, which shares the same issue type. So I can expect the same workflow, the same fields, the same types of rules. However, I have a third request type called get it help that uses a different issue type. And this means that the workflow could differ. It's possible they use the same one, but it could also be different. It could also allow different fields or other settings that my company admin has set up for me. Now this screen also shows me the workflow so I can instantly see which tickets follow the same exact workflow. And again, in this example, get it help has a different workflow than account help and emailed help. Now request types can also be grouped visually. This menu shows me portal groupings and we'll take a look at the portal in just a minute to see these, but here I can group my request types to make it easier for my customers to interact with them. So if I quickly open up my portal, I can see these two request types. Now they're not grouped, but back in my settings, I can click on actions and edit the portal group that these belong to. I might have one here called account help. I'll remove it from general and click save. And now when I take a look at my portal, I can see different groupings. This is a very simple example with only one request type in each group. However, this can help someone figure out where they need to go to get assistance. They need help on their account. They open this up and they'll see a list of all the request types that will help them. Now you might have permissions to create a new request type. I can click on create request type up in the top. There are some templates some blank ones. And if I have Atlassian intelligence, that can help me out. But here, if I make a blank one, I'll walk through a wizard to help me set up my new request type. I might give it a name. I'll call it email account help, getting help with my email. And here I can assign it directly to a group. 
And this is where I can also determine which issue type it connects to. Every request type is connected to one and only one issue type. However, each issue type can have one or many request types associated to it. Next, I'll just click Add. And here I have a new request type. Now, a big difference between company and team managed projects is unless I'm also a Jira admin, I cannot make new fields. All I'll be able to do is drag and drop existing fields onto this request type. And this is a very good thing. We don't want just anyone making new fields. It will quickly get cluttered. However, it can be challenging for teams to build out the request types they need because they don't have that access. And that's where a team managed project can be beneficial. From here, I can just save my changes. And now I will have a new request type that will show up on my portal. I can see email account help. And if I open it up, it will include whatever settings I've added to this request type. So now I'm going to jump into a team managed project, open up that project settings and go to request types. And we'll notice right away that there's something different about the menu. It just opens up and shows me three different request types. Now, if you recall from the start, request types in team managed projects aren't connected to an issue type. Again, this feels counterintuitive. However, this makes sense when you think that a team managed project is entirely separate from every other project. I have one here called email request that has some fields on it. It's possible there's another project with this exact same thing, but they aren't connected. They don't share that workflow or anything else. The advantage I have here is as a project admin, I can create new fields over here on the right. So if I need to add a new date field or paragraph, I can just do it independent of every other project. This lets smaller teams spin up more quickly and control things on their own without having to go through a Jira admin. The other major advantage is I have the ability to edit the underlying workflow that this request type uses. Any changes I make here will not impact other re request types. If I were to do this in a company managed project, I would have to manage and edit the workflow and it's possible I would impact other issue types that happen to use the same workflow. And this is the advantage of a company managed project. I can manage across my organization. However, it can also make it frustrating and challenging for teams who want to move more quickly because they might not be able to do this. And if they do this, they might accidentally negatively impact someone else. So those are the major differences between request types and issue types. Issue types are in company managed projects and can span projects. They contain the settings, the workflow, the fields, the screens that can be reused across the system. And any issue type can have one or many request types. Request types, on the other hand, are the things that customers interact with directly, and they contain the fields and information. And in a team managed project, they don't connect to an issue type. I found this to be really challenging, so please review this, but also jump into Jira and play around yourself if you can. See if you can find the issue type for something you create or find a request type. If you like this, please like and subscribe. It lets me know what you're interested in and drop a comment down below. I'm curious what you find most confusing about issue and request types. Thank you so much for learning with me and I'm really looking forward to seeing you here again soon. Me again, thank you so much for watching that video. Check out more here and pop down into the description. I've got a blog with weekly content. I also have a lot of online learning on Atlassian stuff and project management. And if you need personalized training for you and your team, reach out and let me know. I'll be happy to get something set up for you. Thanks again for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again soon.